Okay, we've got A wall logs up here, the right and the left. We're looking at A wall round four on the right, the right piece before AR. And I'm not sure you can see it, but I snapped a, another white center line on that. The rain had washed the other one off, although I still had my penciled in lines there. And there's 4AL on the other side of the ladder. And when you're working two pieces like this, where you're coming up against an opening like that right there where the doorway will be, I, I like to line this point at the very end, have it perfectly in line with that end of the shorter piece the 4AL log and I'm going to put a string up there and the mark the center mark that's on the ends of the logs I will be able to bring them up to the string and that'll let me know that that log there 4AL even though it's a short log will be perfectly in line with 4AR and what I did right there behind the center line, or behind, sorry, behind the shoulder control line, I put a three penny nail in there and I'm gonna tie a string to it. And that way I can tell what I've got at the opening. All right, I've had to raise this log just a little bit. I have some blocking underneath it. I've got, uh, uh, let's see, there's a three quarter inch piece of plywood, half inch piece, some pieces of uh, linoleum. You can actually use linoleum for blocking. Just, it's thin. And you can use, uh, well, I've got some pieces of uh, Formica here that I've used that it was left over. And it's, it's not very thick, but sometimes you just need a really, really thin piece to uh, get you where you need to be. But I've got, I've got my string right on the center line. If you can see that, that's the center line. And the str I've got it right up on that. And also, on AL, I have the string on here, and I've had to raise this just a little bit, but my string's on that really good. So I'm ready to, at this point, I can take the string back down, and we'll go on to the next step of what I like to do. And one of the things is, that will be necessary when you're, what I call fitting the logs on the wall. Let me get the string out of the way, and uh, we'll get on to the next step of this. All right, the next thing that I want to do is to check this log and see if it is plumb. I just lay my level up there and I know you can't see the bubbles but this log is just pretty close to being plumb. Now I'm using this is a two foot level sometimes you need to lean the log out just a little bit or lean it in. I use the term rocking it out or rocking it in and I was going to show you this little block of wood is the same block of wood that I used when I built our house 26, I think it was about 26 years ago. And I can tell exactly how much I need to lean it or to shave off of the outside or the inside of the, of the lower part of the notch here. I can lay this up there. Now this little block is six inches long and that's how thick these logs are. So I can lay a, a two foot level up against that block and I can check it and if it needs to lean out or rock out, I can just get my level on plumb and I can sight either down here at the bottom of the block or at the top of it. And I can see exactly how much of wood that I need to remove either on the outside of the notch or on the inside. And if you keep your, your logs individually plumbed, it'll make it so much easier when you set the other log over the top of that if your layout and everything is accurate and when you got your control area on either end or both ends planed where when you put your level on there when the log is laying flat on your saw horses then when you set it on the wall and you lay your level up there you want the level to be reading plumb well, if you can see i've got a three penny finished nail driven right into the center of the uh, center line and i've just got a string and I've got it hooked on a nail on the other end, on 4AL. And I'm just going to take my string and just pull a loop in it like that. Just make three or four loops like that. Or five, or however many you want to. And then you can pull with your other hand and keep a little snug pressure on that string. Then just bring this back and just let it wad up. And it'll lock that down. Okay, I've put this string back up. 
and I've got on both ends I've got a, an inch dowel rod I made sure I've got three of these it's just a round piece of dowel rod and I've got one here underneath the string and at the other end uh, and, and I can now at this point I can check to make sure that this end of the log is in and out the way it's supposed to be I can just take my little piece of dowel rod and I can slide it up against the log and behind the string and I could do it here on the the other end of the log at the door opening and that lets me know that this point right here and also this point right here is in line from here all the way through so that would be just like and have like having one log that was not cut out but just one solid piece all the way through and you have your faces all in line with each other. When I start to make the shoulder passes here to bring this log back into control or where it is this log being plumb will be in line with a, a string that I have on the floor. I'll leave this string and these dowels here when I make these handsaw passes on this shoulder to bring this this log in to where it is in line with the seal log and as you're doing that you can put your little dowel behind the string and you can always know that this is lined up all the way through. Okay, I'm ready on a wall to bring it in to control with the seal log lined up with the inside face of the seal log. I'm just checking again to make sure that the individual log is plumb. I did this on 4AR, which is this log that I'm by, or this piece here, and I did it on the, the 4AL also. I'm going to take my four foot level and put it on a string that I have on the floor, and I can get the level plumb, reading plumb, and I can tell how much I need to bring this log in to have it on control. I have a string on the floor. It goes all the way around on the inside of the building. And what I did, I came in three inches from the inside face of the seal log and B and D wall logs. And I just drove some nails in the plywood. And I made sure that my strings were parallel with each other and also that they were the whole thing was square I pulled a tape uh, inside diagonals on the building on my string lines and that way I can always refer back to those strings and make sure when I'm either plumbing down with a level or like using a plumb bob which is what I'll have to do from round five on up because I don't have a level that's real real long I'll be using a plumb bob and dropping a plumb bob back to that string on the inside corners of every round and that way I'll know that I'm keeping the, the walls plumb and square. I'll be making a handsaw pass on the shoulder here and here on the inside of the building and on the outside and I'll be able to bring this log here in 
and I'll be going back to my control string that I just showed you. I'm just uh, holding my level here, getting it right on that string. Just taking my tape and holding my level plumb. I need to come in about a sixteenth of an inch, which is uh, about the thickness that this saw, and I'll show it to you. It is a it's a folding saw. It has the Japanese style teeth. It's really a sweet saw. The blade, the teeth are really uniform all the way down. There's, you don't have one tooth that's bent out more than others. They're very, very well made. And they're very sharp when you get them. And the blade is very flexible. So I can lay this in here and actually bend that blade like this and make a saw pass and the blade always comes back to straight. It's, it's a very well made saw. And I can make these saw passes here and here. But what I'm gonna do just for right now, I'm gonna take this dowel out of there and stick it in my pocket. Cause it uh, kind of gets in the way when I'm making these, these passes, these, these saw passes here. I only need to come in a 16th of an inch, which is what this will actually cut. Sweet little saw. And I'm just putting it up here, and I'm holding it tight, uh, flat against the, the, the log there, and I'm flexing the blade just a little, and I'm cutting on the push stroke. Although these teeth are designed to cut on the pull stroke, when you get a new saw, they're sharp enough, they cut really well and really clean on the push stroke. Now you don't want to cut too high. When you do your layout, if you make your mark for the lower part of the notch and put it on the log here, I, that's where I can tell that I need to stop when I get to that mark. It's kind of, you can't see it very well, but it's the mark on, on the B wall. And I, I know to stop there. And then down here on the bottom, I've still got my mark just a little bit past the center line on the shoulder so I'll know to stop there and I'm just flexing the saw putting it flat against the, the log and very gently keeping my fingers out of the way I'm going to make a saw pass now I'm nearly to where I need to stop where the bottom of the cut is right there now I can go on the outside and make that same cut on this shoulder on the, at the outside of the building. And this log here will be ready to bring in to control. Now I can make the inside saw pass on 4AL. Now I can go outside and make these same passes on the outside. I'm ready now to tap this log in. I've got a, a block of wood that I like to put up against it, a little small a uh, four pound sledgehammer and I just lean over here and put it on the outside of the log. Just give it a little slight tap and you can you can bring it in. I'm gonna take my little block, my little sledgehammer, and I'm gonna lean around here. Now bring that one in. Now I'm ready to take my little dowel and put it here at the string. Just a light tap. I've got that right lined up. So at this point, this point, and at the other end, it's lined up. And I can come right here and do the same thing. Slight light tap down here at the bottom of the log. Just bring it right in to where my, my dowel just touches the string. So now I've got this log fit. This point here and this point here lines up with the inside corners on both ends.